Welcome to All Is One Fitness, everybody. I am Allison, and today we are going to do a nice little light to medium weight dumbbell arm exercise. So everything is going to be 45 seconds. There's only one set that is a minute long, but 45 seconds, 15 seconds off. We are going to repeat everything two times through. So again, light to medium. I have threes, threes, fives, anything up to eight, 10 if you've been lifting a lot, but within that range is going to be perfect. So grab that mat, the floor, yourself, that water, and let's get rocking. We have about eight different sets today. We're going with our lighter dumbbell weights. I love having workouts with lighter dumbbell weights because it still gets the job done. It gives you that burnout in those arms, and we're going to target everything today. So, getting yourself started, we're going to do a nice little bicep curl with an overhead press. And then you're coming back down into that field goal pose. You have to re-squeeze those hands, and then they drop down. So, bicep curl into an overhead press. Yes. We're focusing on our upper body, but I also want you to have a bend in those knees because we don't want to lock them out. We don't want anybody fainting. Yeah, easy. Yes. Now, I want you to go with as many reps as possible within this time frame, but of course, keeping proper form. So you're working proper form. You're not going too crazy fast. If you start to realize you are not doing this properly, Do a hammer curl this time with an overhead press. So going straight up and then they come down and then you lengthen those arms. So as many reps as possible, and wrap, here we go. Hammer curl, overhead press. Now when you're going up to the ceiling, you're not going back this way. You want to go straight up and straight down. I'm very gray today, I realized. I wanted everything gray to wear. So, <laughs> give me a little bit of a chuckle. Okay. About 15 more seconds. Oh. Still having that small bed in the knees. Next little bit is going to be a tricep. So you're taking the tricep, kick back, but then you're going to rotate those palms up to the ceiling, rotate them back, and then you're bending those elbows in. So it's a little bit of a two-part series. So bend those knees, take your body over, tricep kick back, rotate, rotate, back down. This is our minute-long one because there's a little pulse section at the end of this. So you have your normal 45 seconds, and then we got a quick little minute, or not minute, 15 seconds of pulses. That rotation is what killer. Yes. We have about 15 more seconds, and then we're heading into that pulse. away from that full little bit of range that your arm can do. Yes. And I'm squeezing my core no more here, even though I'm just focusing on those arms. Working everything. Go. 
about five more seconds. So this next little bit is going to be a closed grip into a wide grip, palms up to the ceiling. So all you're doing is just rotating from here to here, and then you're coming back. Not letting those arms drop though. That's what's gonna make it a little bit tricky. So closed grip, wide grip, close and open. So we're working in those shoulders, rotation in those arms. Now when you open those hands to the side, you don't wanna let that chest pop out. Keep that sternum in, squeeze that core. Really try to work in just those arms, yes. We've got about 20 more seconds here. And then we're gonna to head to the floor. About eight more seconds. Head down, we're going into skull crushers. So, skull crushers, I like to hold my weights this way. You can hold them whatever way works for you, but you're just bending those elbows, they come back, and you squeeze them up to the ceiling. So, yeah, and that. And again, as many reps as you can with proper form. We are doing this twice.
breather. All right, your hammer curls into those overhead presses. These are a little bit easier because they just go straight through the same plane, all the way up and all the way back down. Palms facing in towards your body. So, up, down. Yes. Check those knees, are they locking out?
This is your hammer curl with the cross body on the way down, alternating those sides. Shake it out. Hammer curl across. So I'm also feeling it in my armpits because I'm squeezing my hands into my body. So I'm not just doing this, you can do this all day, just the motions, but if you squeeze and add your own tension, it amps it up, and that's what we want. We've got about 15 more seconds. Remember you're coming straight up, so it looks like you're doing two different things. All right, we got those wrist curls to finish out this last little bit, and then that's it. So, shaking it out, five more seconds. Small little curl of the wrist, getting all of the back too, which works backless. So curling and lengthening, curl and lengthening. Checking with those shoulders, you don't want them to come up. Curl, lengthen. Still have a small bend in those elbows. 25 more seconds.